Fiki's outlook for uh, this coming year is uh, there in a report where we expect GDP to be at 6.8%. Uh, we had put our report out uh, um, just over a month ago and interestingly World Bank's come in at the same number. So it is a sub 7% number. Uh, disappointing but the fact is it tells us that we do need to make sure that we can get the country back on track and take that 6.8% back up to the 9 and 10 that we're capable of doing. It's not all bad news. We need to make sure that the, the set sectors that are sputtering get back on track and those that are doing well continue on track. Manufacturing growth is at the core of what FIKI would like to see increase and we have a country which has set a target now of increasing manufacturing as a contributor to GDP to 25% and FIKI is firmly aligned behind that. The fact that states are not signing up, that uh, uh, there's a logjam right now at a political level uh, are all there to see. Uh, I think we've just got to see it as a national priority and it is a national priority. Anything that makes the process of collection of tax better, more efficient, is good for the country because it brings those revenues back into being able to spend in the areas the country wants to spend. So if it can and is identified as a national priority by across parties, we will see that implementation. The implementation itself is not difficult. There are issues that need ironing out. I think that process of consultation is very important. Uh, government has to onboard the issues, has to be able to manage through the, res the, the resistance that there is, and some are on valid grounds. I think the solutions are out there. Uh, some, like creation of escrow accounts, etc., have already been uh, announced. So we will get there on the solution. My only fear is that it doesn't end up being so diluted as a bill that it doesn't meet what we want from it. Ensuring that we don't get sharp, volatile moves one way or other, because that's what creates a bit of a rush. So you suddenly see a depreciation in the rupee, there's panic, and everybody's out there suddenly trying to protect themselves. And the whole market's moving in the same direction to basically cover or and solve the problem, and that only creates another trigger. So we, we need a managed decline if that is going to happen or a managed appreciation so we don't see sharp swings one way or other but the rupee ultimately will find its own level and uh, it's just a case of making sure it's easier getting there.